Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. Say even the most rambunctious squirts can be tamed. No sign of the core here. At least the kid got something for his trouble. Squirts just don't know when to quit. He heads for the biggest dump in town. Scumbag Alley. Squirts don't make the best of friends, but they can be useful in a pinch. And there he is. The oldest scumbag of them all. Gershel. The calamity ain't done much for Gershel's sunny disposition. Kid cuts up Gershel like a fine apple. Old scumbag didn't feel a thing. The rest of the path is gone for good, and his city crest won't bring it back. No core, no surprise. Like the gas fellas are hiding it from him. for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. Keeps telling himself he better watch his step. Somehow that old forge is still standing. Inside the forge, Kay can fine-tune those instruments of his. With a good length of me gut, that bow's like new again. Kid packs a special surprise in every one of those arrows. Core ain't here neither, so he's got to guess again. Odd place to find the likes of Percy the Snitch. Never much cared for that big wide grin of his.
Up north is where the gas fella foreman used to live, tending to his flock. Gas fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. And there it is. But it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. Lustery old foreman's keeping his fellas in check, almost like he's showboating for the crowd. And now there's a new marshal in town. grown, but it's too tough to fall. Kid's ready to go, and his ticket out's right where he started. He comes back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack, the monuments calling for it. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. The windbags used to be all right. Then the calamity took the floor out from under him. What else is there to say? Ain't much kid can't handle with hammer and bow in hand. A lot of things need fixing up in this world, and we can start right here. Can't be too careful these days. Picked up traces of other cores while the kid was out. In better days, the melting pot was sealed tighter than the skin on the squirt. He cuts down every stab weed like there's gonna be a prize for it. Of all the plans to survive the calamity, it had to be stab weeds. If there's a core, he figures it ought to be deeper down. <laughs> core stuck inside one of those fancy cages.
No break in a cage like that, but the kid tries anyway. Gotta find a way to spring it open. Some of the stuff lying around is downright dangerous. He throws a switch. Now what could possibly go wrong? Quite a bit, as it turns out. The cage starts lifting from the core ever so slow. All Kid can do is wait. Shipments start falling in. Squirt's born bad. Some spring to the kid's defense. Judging by the movement of the cage, it's gonna take a little while. Scumbags don't take kindly to interlopers. Even some gas fellas take his corner. Heard they pop that mean old foreman. At this rate, maybe five more minutes, maybe thirty, hard to tell. Squirts get real territorial around the core. Then a ship and a free sample shows up. One thing's for sure, that cage is awful heavy. Moments left, and the core goes free. Ten, nine, eight, seven. You give or take a few seconds. Finally, the core's within reach. And done. Got it. Just gotta get to the nearest barge. I still remember the look on his face after that one. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. Folks voyaged across the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. 
We ain't much for pleasantries. Takes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. Party punch is so zesty, it'll let you carry on through the worst of times. Kids' lifelong friends looking fit to keep on fighting. <laughs> <laughs> 